An Arizona man is recovering from third degree burns after he collapsed on the scorching hot pavement. Alexis Dominguez reports. It was hot every single day. Like. Ask Timothy Young about what he remembers about July 27th, and he'll tell you. I was standing at the light rail station playing Pokemon, just waiting, and the next thing I knew, um, EMTs were waking me up. He says he was trying to get home from work that day, usually about a 20-minute commute. I work in a warehouse, so it's, it's extremely, it has brutal temperatures in the warehouse, and then just being outside, having to ride the bus, the, the commute with the light rail, the bus, transferring, just trying to get home, like, it's hot out there. He was just a few miles away from home, near Mesa Drive and Main Street in downtown Mesa. One minute I'm, I'm fine, the next minute it's a little, a few stars, and, and then you're, and then you're scarred for life. Young ended up at the burn center inside Valley Wise Hospital, receiving surgeries and skin grafts for severe burns from the pavement. That same month, doctors there said every single one of their 45 beds in the burn center were full. One third of those patients had fallen on the ground, burning themselves. I'm used to go, go, go. And to have to sit in a hospital bed for two months, it, that was that was intense. Nearly 10 minutes passed out on the hot pavement, and his life is now completely different. Recovery is still on its way. I mean, my wound still ain't fully healed. It's hard, everything hurts. You know, lift, trying to grab something off the fridge with his arm is impossible.